Hi, I'm Allie. Join me as I create and show you how to do a very simple design featuring super duos and eight OC beads. This lovely earring is brought to you by Cheryl here at Potomac Beads. And if you need any of the supplies, go ahead and look below the video in the description. Gather everything up on your bead on a board and let's get ready to get started. All right, for this tutorial, we're gonna go very simple and almost do a peyote stitch, a circular peyote with multi-hold beads. And this is compliments of Cheryl, who works here at Potomac Beads and has been a coworker of mine for a lot of years, often doing simple and easy designs. And we're featuring some of our Potomac picks, which are unique check glass or metal beads or findings that we come across and we think that you would love too. So we're gonna be using some of these drops. It's with super duos as well as 8 seed beads. I've got a head pin here ready to go for the bottom, a wire guard, and my ear wire. I'm going to be working with black thread so you can see it a little bit easier. If you want to, you can also work with a gray thread or a white thread since the bead is a little bit see-through. And what we are going to do is the first thing is make the interior loop of the base piece. So the interior loop of the base piece is going to be six of my super duos. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now I'm usually a stop bead person, but I know Cheryl did not create these with a stop bead. She would have knotted them because she does not like stop beads. So I'm gonna do her way here of tying this into a loop. So those six beads go on. I'm tying my thread right over left, left over right. And I am using a size eight dragon thread for this. And I have a size 10 needle on. From here, I'm going to sew through the next two super duos through that same first hole and bring my thread and needle out. I'm gonna decorate the middle of our basket with one of our 80 seed beads. So I'm coming out the top here of these two beads along the side. I'm gonna skip over one bead and I'm going to go down from the top to the bottom of the two beads that sit on the left across after adding an 80 seed bead. Push that towards the top of the design. Coming out the bottom then, go back through that same 8 and this will center that seed bead. And then once again, go from the bottom to the top on those same two Super Duo beads. Give a nice tight pull and it almost looks like a little flower or floral design sticking that 8 in the middle. From here, I want you to go from the bottom of your Super Duo or that interior hole of the Super Duo to the exterior hole of that same Super Duo bead. So it went from the inside to the outside. You can see a tiny bit of thread on the outside there, but we're gonna fill this negative space between by adding two more Super Duos and then sewing into the next one of my Super Duo beads through that secondary hole. Once again then, two more Super Duos go on. Go over to the next Super Duo to that outside hole and sew through. This is really simple as we go in and add in the pieces. So this is actually a peyote stitch that we are doing. It's called circular peyote. We're adding beads and going through the next bead. Generally speaking, when you're doing circular peyote, you are gonna need to add extra beads as you're going around, whether or not it's a two hole or a one hole bead, because the design is getting bigger or flaring out. So I'm spilling, filling the space between the one super duo to the next with two. Going through then, I've got two more to add, and I'm gonna go back through the first hole of the first bead that my thread was coming out of, so that original super duo, and we're going to progress as well. So we're gonna go from the first hole of the first two super duos that we added to the outer edge, which are 12 super duos, two between each of our six groupings. And we're gonna sew again from the bottom hole to the exterior hole, just like we did in the original six from the middle. It's very, very simple now. We are going to pick up one 80 seed bead and sew into the open second hole of the second row of our super duos. 8 goes on into the next one. And we're gonna sew the whole way around the design, just filling that in. Now we do wanna keep one space open. So the very last one, instead of adding an 8 seed bead, we're gonna add another super duo. However, if you don't wanna do the top section, 
you are going to not add the extra super duo and we're just going to add an 8OC bead in its place. Going around here, you can see that I'm just catching on to an eight, adding an eight and sewing through that exterior loop. Now, if you want to pull the basket even tighter, you can pull tighter and you can add a smaller bead. So if you would want it to curve even more, you could do an 11 OC bead on the exterior. All right, we're back at the beginning now and we have one more open space. Again, if you want to just have this single design, go ahead and put an 8 OC bead there and then weave your thread back in towards the interior and tie it off. Instead, we are going to add one more super duo bead and then go into that first bead as well as through the first 8 that we added. That puts that one super duo bead at the top and that'll get us in place to add on our top section of six beads. The first one's already there. We'll add five more. From here, you can see I'm sewing through the next Super Duo in line, and we're going to downgrade. I mean, I'm going from the exterior hole and I'm going to the interior hole of that Super Duo, as well as while I'm there, I'm sewing through the next one as well. I'm going to go through the next Super Duo, so I'm sewing in a line here, backtracking my thread through everywhere that I already took it. I don't want any extra thread showing. I snaked back through the second hole of the second row of Super Duo, the 8 the second hole, reversed the thread to get to the bottom, and also went through the second hole of one of my first row beads. What this did then was allow me to get my thread and needle through the first hole of one of the exterior, or this 12 grouping of Super Duos. And then I'm gonna reverse the thread from the bottom hole there to the top hole, as well as go through the first hole of the additional Super Duo that we added at the top. Just like we did previously, we are going to take our thread from the bottom hole or the interior hole towards the exterior hole of that Super Duo bead. From here, we add five more Super Duos. So I've got to get a couple more of this Nebula color out. We already have the one on. We're gonna add a total of six. So we have one that we're coming out of, two, three, four, five, and six. The initial circle we did, we tied a, a loop or tied our two thread ends together. We're gonna to sew back through that same hole of, C, of Super Duo number one that our thread was coming out of. From here, I'm just gonna take my thread up through the two C beads that sit on the side. Because remember, we need to add that 8 in the middle. 8 OC bead gets added, and just like we did on the base or the bottom one, we're gonna go through the two super duos after skipping one that sit on the alternate or the left side of those six. Coming out through those two interior holes, go through the eight again to pull it in towards the center of the design. And once again, take your thread and needle back through the two super duos through the interior hole on the right that your thread was coming out of. And see how that just positions again, that bead right in the middle. From here, go from the interior hole to the exterior hole of the super duo that your thread is currently coming out of and add in your seed beads. We're gonna add an 8 in between each bead, just like we did in row two of the base basket. When you get here along the connection point, you're also gonna add an 8 in and skip to that bottom hole or that exterior hole of the Super Duo that works at the connection point. Add another one in here and continue up. And you can see I'm doing this all in one take to show you exactly how quick and easy this design really is. Here at the top then, I have one more of my seed bead to add, but while I'm at the top, I'm gonna take advantage of using my wire guard. My wire guard or my wire protector is going to protect the thread as it lays along the ear wire. It also gives a nice polished, finished look going up one side of the tube and your thread sits right in that interior archway. Put your needle through the second hole or the second side of that wire guard and go back through the super duo from the opposite side, bringing your thread out. So your thread was coming out the right side. 
you're adding your wire guard and you're going back through that same bead. While we're here, we're gonna reinforce it, making sure that we have two lines of thread that go through our wire guard. So two passes of thread up through the top here, down through the wire guard, and then once again through that same Super Duo bead. Add one more 8 OC bead, and sew through the next open hole of the next Super Duo. Give a nice tight pull to round that out, and that finishes the design. All I'm going to do now is take my thread and needle down through the piece, working to get to the very interior line of Super Duos to tie my thread off. If you want to also add a drop bead and get the look from the Potomac pick, I have a head pin here, a two inch silver head pin, and I'm going to show you how to add to an 8 OC bead. And as you see me going here, I'm just zigzagging through going from the second hole in towards the interior of the first hole of the piece, making sure my thread lies along the side of the super duos, flip to the back, see where those two thread ends go, make them meet. So I'm gonna go through that bead right there. So they are ending on the same area. And then literally just tie off those thread ends. You can get your thread burner down then, and burn them off toward the center of the design. And one of the earrings is simply made right there. From here then, after burning off our thread in, we're gonna add our bead to the bottom if you so choose, connecting to the 80 c bead that lies parallel to our wire guard at the top. When you're finished, you can see that the earring stands really pretty alone. If you want more of that cupping sensation, what you wanna do is take a second pass of thread through the entire exterior of the piece. What I'm gonna do right now is show you how to make that eye pin, that coiled eye pin that sits on top and is connected to one of the eight OC beads. So here I'm gonna take my needle nose pliers and I'm going to turn my wire back away 90 degrees from the bead itself take my round nose pliers and make a decent size loop. I'm gonna hold right here about on the pliers and the wire's coming straight out from the back of the jaws. I'm gonna go over the top of the round nose pliers and switch from the top jaw to the bottom jaw and then push that wire back to 90 degrees. Now I'm gonna go back in and open this a little bit with my needle nose pliers because I want to see that gap in that opening so I can go right in to that 80 seed bead so through it and wiggle my loop into the 8 -0. So what's cool about 8 OC beads is they have a decent size opening. So these head pins are about 21 gauge and they will fit through there. From here, you can use your round nose pliers or your needle nose pliers to hold, but you're gonna take the tail here and wrap it around the piece. And rather than cutting off any of my wire, I just tucked it the whole thing around the top to make it look a little bit fancier. Once you're done with the bead that hangs as a drop right from the bottom, go ahead and grab your ear wire, making sure that you open it up by sliding the loop portion to the side rather than pulling back on it, just like we did with that loop opening to the 8 -0. Put your wire guard right on there and close up your ear wire to finish up this beautiful basket super duo design. Thanks so much for joining me in creating these beautiful earrings via Cheryl's design. Remember, if you do need any supplies, want to check out the rest of the Potomac picks that you can add for fun bottoms of the earrings, go ahead and below the video, hit and click on that description, and it'll open up a link to get to our website. As always, make sure you share your pictures in our Facebook group for beading and jewelry making. We love seeing what you do with our designs. Additionally, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything from us here at Potomac Beads. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more inspirational designs.